after the last video, uh, one of the subscribers to Life Inside Box left a really nice comment. He basically pointed out all the things that I did wrong, and then he also mentioned how to correct them. So that's what I really like about YouTube, is that it does have this community feel. So like when I've been doing a lot of the projects and stuff, a lot of people who are probably a little bit more experienced in different areas, um, they leave their comments, they leave their suggestions in order um, to get a better end result, I guess you could say. And a gentleman named Jeremy from Wisconsin um, basically said that the, the brace that I did was totally wrong. Uh, I'm actually using the wrong type of wire. This wire isn't even high tensile wire, it's just like utility wire. Um, so that's why if you notice in the last video it snapped. Oh f Somebody else said that wire shouldn't have snapped, like you didn't have enough tension on it for it to snap. How I did the brace is backwards. So I basically want the low point of the brace on this side of the gate and I want the higher part of the brace on this side here. Especially on the gate side, there's gonna be force you know, wanting to push that way, but the majority of the force on the fence is actually gonna be when I'm, when I'm actually tightening the fence up. So most of the force that we actually wanna counteract is we want it to stop from racking this way. So if you can just kind of imagine how the forces are gonna be playing, um, basically as the fence gets tightened up along the stretch here, is that it's gonna be pulling the post this way. So in order to counteract the force going that way, we want basically the strength of the H brace having a force going that way there. So I'm gonna take this apart and we'll get the, uh, the high tensile wire loaded up on the spinning jenny, which is gonna make this a lot easier. And uh, let's get started. So this here is pretty loose anyway, so I can just easily cut this. There's not really any tension on it. Um, da, 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 da. All right, so on this side of the H brace, we're gonna be putting the fencing staples um, just above the level of the H brace here, and we're gonna angle these down. So that was one of the tips that Jeremy bestowed upon me, is you wanna angle these down a little bit. And then we'll do some staples on the low side here. So many of you were wondering, what a spinning jenny is. And no, it's not Team Broccoli dancing around. It's just basically a wire reel that sits on the ground like this for the high tensile wire. So this just sits on here and then it spins around. in place. Now we'll move the arms back over. Tighten the U up. Now that the wires in the spinning jenny, then we can go ahead and remove the straps here. So you can see this is why the spinning jenny is so handy. You can just spin the wire right off the reel like that. So much easier than just trying just putting it on the ground and then you know doing the just get a little bit off. Another little trick that Jeremy uh, told me is to basically put a staple behind the wire here, and then it's actually it's much easier to pull the wire through, and it's not going to dig. Um, it's not going to dig into the post. Basically what we're doing here is we're wrapping this around twice. So I got my one end here, then I got my next end right here. So I'll just kind of cut this. And it's really windy out here. So basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use this strainer in order to tighten everything up. So what we can do on this one end here is to do a, I think it's called a half hitch knot. So I'm going to try to do this. Might have to actually watch a YouTube video to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch a YouTube video quickly. Bend this around, and so, and right here, we're gonna make some kind of Z, or Z, right here. So what we're trying to do here is to wrap this around, and then, by wrapping this around, 
and doing this little Z, we can bring it up through the loop that we just made. Oh man, this stuff is tough to work with. Kudos to guys in fencing. This ain't easy. Oh, come on. <laughs> the struggle is real. It's like when you watch when you watch these guys in the videos, yeah, they've probably done it thousands of times, so it looks so easy to them. All right, let's get this up. Uh, come on. Uh. <laughs> uh, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. We can fold it down along this side. Ah. <laughs> Let me just watch this again and make sure I'm doing this correctly. This is how I learned how to do most of this stuff is just by watching YouTube videos. It brings it on that side and wraps it around. Okay. <sighs> Wrap it around. Ugh. The struggle. Ugh. We'll go one more time and then we'll bring it back. Ugh. And then we twist it around. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Did it. Sweet. So basically what's gonna happen is this knot is gonna keep getting tighter and tighter. It's kind of like a, almost like a noose in a way. The more that you put onto it, the more uh, force that you put onto it. Oh, this is gonna be good. So now that we got this, we can basically put this through the strainer. Now what we can basically start doing here is tight, tighten this up. Well, the strainer basically, as I was tightening the wire up, the wire moved to the side and then basically this just totally popped off of here. All right, we're gonna have to undo this and then get another strainer and uh, try this again. All right, so I've gotten this pretty damn tight. It's not really gonna go anywhere. Uh, but what's happening is that the wire is kind of like going towards one side of the reel and that's why this thing broke last time is that there's too much pressure on one side. I'm not going to tighten it up anymore but it's getting to the point where it's getting really really hard to do it so I'm just going to leave it as it is uh, just so that I don't break th this strainer here and uh, let's start on the other side here. We got our two H braces for our gate there, the spinning Jenny. <laughs> and then if we come over here, I finished the first corner brace. So I didn't show you guys how to do this just because I was really unsure of exactly what I was doing. But this is the final result for this corner brace. So I basically do it. Ah, f this thing is pricking me. So I basically do a loop around the bottom. That's called a, uh, a Western Union splice. Then the strainer. And then we do our regular half hitch kind of noose knot there going around the bottom. And then basically, since this is pretty well like the strongest part of the post, then we've got the wire stapled right there. And then basically what this does is, since this is pulling this way, it basically holds this straight up. And then when we're pulling our fence, this post is not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna lean over. I feel like I could just drop kick this thing and it won't, it won't go anywhere. There. I'm gonna work on getting the other corner braces done tomorrow. Hin and I, we're gonna go out for a date, and I'm gonna show you how to do this corner brace right now, but it'll be tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, guys. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing the corner braces here. So these, this is the six by six corner post. It's pressure treated. 
And then we also have some four by four posts right here. Um, these were four by four by 10, then I just cut them in half. We're basically going to make some angle cuts on it so that it's gonna fit nicely up against here. We want this to sit about halfway up the pole. We don't want it higher, we don't want it lower. So just right about halfway. We've got some wire strainers, and then we also have some paving stones that the uh, four by fours are gonna sit on on the ground. And this is what is called a floating corner brace. Let's get started with cutting the four by fours. So with these resting in place, I'm gonna take a big three and a half inch nail and just hammer across the brace right to the corner post here. Same on the other side here. Just gonna put a few fence staples down on this end here. So what I'm gonna do around the bottom on this side here is basically work in the wire strainer and we're gonna make what is called a Western, Western Union splice. I'm not sponsored by Western Union, just FYI. I still need to look at a diagram on my phone here just so I know exactly how to do it because I've only done it four times. I'm still not exactly sure how it goes. This high tensile wire is not the easiest to work with, which it's good because it's super strong, but it's also just a pain. <laughs> but the end product is gonna be, is gonna be much better. All right. Get this under here. All right, now I've got this, it's kind of like a figure eight loop. I'll put a picture up on the screen for the wire. I'm just trying to tighten it up. It'll, tight, it'll tighten up when I start cranking on the wire strainer. And now I'm just gonna finish it off just by wrapping this wire in some really tight coils on the end. So here's a bit of a close up. So we got this kind of figure eight pattern going on. And then we just wrap those ends around in nice tight coils. And then this will be the support for our wire strainer here. Now I just gotta get the piece going on this side here that's going to attach into here. So I'm just gonna put some fence staples here, right on the end of this piece. This is gonna hold the wire from trying to slide up the post. All right, so we're gonna wrap this around, and then we're gonna do what is called a half hitch knot, and then it acts almost kind of like a noose. So as we tighten up the strainer, this is gonna get a lot tighter, and basically that Western Union splice is gonna tighten up. And then as we tighten this up as well, then we're gonna get a, it's basically, it's gonna tighten up on its own. Make a Z, the wire, and we can loop this up through. Come on, there we go. Okay, then we're gonna do our tight coils to finish it off. Like I said, this wire, it's, str it's strong, it's not the easiest to work with. Oh man. Normally there's a way of like spinning the wire back and breaking it off, but I'm just not, it's just not working for me today. All right, so get this, that's gonna tighten up. And then this end here, we're gonna snip it off and it goes right into the wire strainer. Cut the wire off right here. We got some tension on the wire, and as I tighten this up, it's gonna get tighter and then it's gonna get really loose as these knots, as they start to tighten up. So I can feel it. So yeah, that's how I'm doing one leg of the corner brace. Obviously I do the same on that side as well and then finish up on the other corner braces as well. And I hope you guys got a lot of good information uh, from this video. 
like I said earlier, I definitely have a much greater appreciation for guys who do fencing because this is uh, this is tough work, especially very tough on the hands and on the fingers, uh, just for wrapping that wire. All right, I will catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you soon. Peace.